Boom. These are the Tamazite Berber tattoos in person. Well, not in person, but, you know, in real time, modern time, you see. Same shebang. The Tamahu, the Tamazite. The white North African. The mixed European, right? This is what they look like. It resembles their language. You understand? Different symbols and things. You see? Right? We got the B, snail, right? The escargot. We got the snake, etc. Salamander. You know, same shit we see here. You understand? More words for the Tamahu, the Nahisi. Boom, they damn near look just like. This is the Hebrew. You see? This is the Raymatu. Right? Like Raymatu, like Nahisi, like Namu, like Tamu. Just like today. You see? You understand? Now, these are what you call barbarians. You see? It was supposed to be a member of a community or a tribe not belonging to one of the great civilizations, Greek, Roman, Christianity, right? The British or the brutish, right? The word brute, the Britons, the Brits come from brute, right? The brutish, which are also Germans and things. The Nordics, right? The barbarians, but these are also Libyans, right? Barbarians, which were the original pagans. You understand? which today means anybody who's not a Jew, Christian, or Muslim, but it originally meant anybody that was not civilized by Egypt family in the African, right? The foreigners, right? The heat soaks and the Libyans, you understand? The mesh wish and thing, right? A person holding religious beliefs other than those of the main world religions. What was the main world religion of that day? You see? Those were pagans. Right? Which now just means a non-Christian. It doesn't mean devil. It doesn't mean anything like that. But what's most important is... Right? It comes from Latin paganists. Paganist, which is a villager, a rustic, or a nomad, right? From Pagan's country district, countryside. You see, a heathen, one not controlled in the army of Christ. It's also a town, right? In um, India, or not India, in, um, what I say, in the, in the Buddhist dynasty. Now, a heathen is a countrysider, right? The word heathen didn't necessarily have to do with religion or anything, right? It means an, uh, an inhabitant of the open country, right? Or like rural areas, you understand, from the base of heath, which is an open area of uncultivated land. Especially in Britain, right? The brutish, the brutes. You see? It says, with characteristic vegetation of heather, gorse, or coarse grasses. Dwarf shrub, small little grass and shit. You know what I'm saying? A heath. So a heathen is a countryside. These were the Europeans and the Libyans. 
right? In the Western Asiatic, barbaric, savagely cruel, exceedingly brutal, uncivilized and uncultured, primitive, unsophisticated, right? Barbaros, foreign, right? But it's also in reference to speech, right? You can't speak. It's also derived from bar, which is hairs, right? It's pricks and or hooks of things like barbed wire, right? It comes from barber, which means beard, right? Barbs of hair. You see, to cut or style one's hair, right? So we got a barber, right? The Berbers, cause they were so damn hairy, right? And Europeans and shit, we had to shave them down and bathe them in alcohol, right? That's how you get a barber, the barbarians. You understand? We had to cut down, shave down the barbarians. We had to shape them up. You understand? Barb, brings me to the Barbary Coast. You understand? Northwest coastline of Africa. Right, it was also called the Maghreb, the Yellow Brick Road, right? All the lands from Egypt to Mauritania. You see? The Maghreb. You understand? Algeria, Libya, Mauritania, Morocco, and Tunisia. All right? This is what we call the Barbary Coast, or part of the, or the, the Barbary Coast is a part of the Maghreb. The coastline. You understand? Boom. Libya. From Libya to Morocco. The barbarians, right? The Barbary Coast is what we call ancient Libya, once again. Not much is known about the early history of Libya, and most records of early Libyan people are by other neighboring groups, such as the Egyptians. Wow, because they didn't record their history. They had to let us tell their story, you understand? So following the Berbers, Libya was ruled by many conquering empires, such as the Romans, the Greeks, the Persians, the Arabs, just like Egypt. You understand? Everybody had a little piece of that ass, right? So Libya was once considered all of Africa by people like Herodotus. You understand? This was the world according to him during that time, right? Ethiopia was southern Libya. That's what they thought. You know what I'm saying? He had the Ethiopian Ocean and shit. You know, the Australian Ocean, right? Antarctica was said to be Southern Africa, right? Then Atlantis was here outside the Strait of Gibraltar, you feel me? So the Sahara used to be underwater. So it really was Libya. Then it was Atlantis and water. Then it was Ethiopia, you know what I'm saying? And they mind because they, you know, then they got the Nile coming from the Atlas Mountains. The Nile come from Uganda and, and Ethiopia. You understand? So this is what they thought of the world. They got Persia, you know what I'm saying? They got Assyria, Syria. They got Armenia, Armenians. They got Phoenicia, which is Canaan and Lebanon, right all the way up to Amuru. The Amorites and things, you know what I'm saying? We got, see, Jordan, that was a part of Syria. So the Ammonites and the Moabites, Right, they was in Jordan. They had the Sidonians and the in the um uh, the Lebanese, which were Phoenicians, Canaanites, we got Egypt. Right. So in they mind Libya was it, you know, all of Africa. So that brings me to Bara. From the ancient Egyptian word bar, which means outside or to get out. Right. We also want to take note of 
Mazaktat. Right, from the ancient Egyptian word Zaktat, which means cheerful or upbeat. So these are Arabic words. Mazaktat comes from Zaktat. Bara comes from bar. Or bar bar. That's usually like we would say, like bar bar. You know, if a woman told you bar bar, that means get your ass out. You know what I'm saying? Get the fuck on. You stink or you, you know what I'm saying? You, you're filthy. You see? Bar bar. You understand? Bara. You understand? Now we look at Zaktat and we look at Nazak in Hebrew. Nazak means victory. This is the seventh Sephiroth. This is the virtue of Venus, which is Noga. Right? Venus is Noga, but this is Nazak. That's that word right there, Nazak. Right? Victory. You know what I mean? Coming from. Egyptian word zaktat, which means cheerful or upbeat. The zaktat. You see? Now, we look at habiru. Right? Habiru comes from the word bar. You understand? Habiru. Sometimes written as hapiru, hapiru. A piru, a pyru, right? A pyru, meaning dusty or dirty. A bitteru, right? Used in second millennia BCE throughout the Fertile Crescent for people variously described as rebels, outlaws, raiders, mercenaries, bowmen, servants, slaves, and laborers. Rebels, outlaws, raiders, these are the heat soaks. The same people. The Shasa. You see? The Hebrew people. The biblical word Hebrew, like Habiru, began as a social category and evolved into an ethnic one. So originally it was a social category, right? It's not a tribe of people, right? It's a social category of a nomadic, bummy people. You see? The Hebrews were likely viewed as Habiru-like in nature, especially under Moses when they were wandering in the desert for 40 years. That's a long-ass time, family. So what's stopping you from building shit? You can't build nothing in 40 years like Nimrod, like, like Cain. Cain is really the first builder of the scriptures. You know what I'm saying? We we say Nimrod. He was the first. He built the first kingdom. But when we think back, Cain was really the first mason in the scripture. The first stone mason because he built the city right right after he went to the land of Nod. You understand? So Cain is actually the first builder. Right? The murder of his brother. Right? But then, you know, Nimrod is, of course, son of Cush, the first civilizer man you understand brought the land of one tongue because the question is what the hell tongue did Cain speak right what tongue did the serpent speak right was it Hebrew or, or Paleo Hebrew Aramaic was it Phoenician was it Egyptian you see was it Arabic Syriac you know was it <laughs> you know who was there to say but the story of time family so boom these are the Hebrew people the bombs right people you do not want to be the Shasu of Yahoo right following the moon and shit of Egypt the moon god of Egypt because they didn't have nowhere to go. They didn't have no cancer in the Zodiac, which is a mother, a home, a safe haven. So they were wanderers, right? Worshiping the sun and following the moon, right? Now, this is the Fertile Crescent, right? Which is modern-day Iraq, Syria, Lebanon, Israel, and Jordan. Fertile Crescent, right? Peoples of the Fertile Crescent. A bitter root. Not all, but you know. 
most. You see?